killing people. I just wanted to share some of these magic remedies with you. But don't try these at home. Matter of fact, don't even try them. This is just for your amusement and edification. You know, you could consider it a scholarly pursuit. Uh, John George Homan's powwows on arts and remedies. So that's the, uh, this category is arts and remedies. A good remedy for hysterics or mother fits. What if a guy gets hysterical? Is it father fits? Uh, I've seen many a guys get hysterical. Uh, to be used three times. Put that joint of the thumb which sits on the palm of the hand on the bare skin covering the small bone which stands above the pit of the heart and speak the following at the same time. Matrix. Patrix. Lie thyself right and safe. Or thou or I on the third day fill the grave and there's three little crosses by that so that's a reminder do this three times could be some bad consequences if you don't do it right all right another remedy for hysterics and for colds this must be attended to every evening that is whenever you pull off your shoes and stockings Run your finger in between all the toes and smell it. This will certainly affect a cure. Man, who needs to go to medical school? Just smell your feet. Uh. <laughs> Three. A certain remedy to stop bleeding, which cures no matter how far a person is away. If only his first name is rightly pronounced while using it. Jesus Christ, dearest blood, that stoppeth the pain and stoppeth the blood. In this help you, first name, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, Amen. And that's it? That's so simple. A remedy to be used when someone is falling away and which has caused many persons. Oh, uh, and which has cured many persons. Let the person, in perfect soberness and without having conversed with anyone, uh, catch rain in a pot before sunrise so that. Hopefully it's raining real good so your pot gets full before then. Boil an egg in this. Bore three small holes in the egg with a needle. And carry it to an anthill made by big ants. Not those little ones. And the person will feel relieved as soon as the egg is devoured. Damn! That's amazing. Miraculous. Another remedy to be applied when someone is sick, which has affected many a cure, when doctors could not help. Let the sick person, without having conversed with anyone, put water in a bottle before sunrise, very important, close it up tight, and put it immediately in some box or chest. Lock it and stop up the keyhole. The key must be carried in one of the pockets for three days as nobody dare have it except the person who puts the bottle with water in the chest or box. I mean, that'd be crazy if you did that. You might get sick. All right. A good remedy for worms to be used for men as well as cattle. Mary. God's mother traversed the land, holding three worms close in her hand. One was white, the other was black, the third was red. What the fuck is that? Oh, squirrel. Okay. <laughs> the 
third was red. This must be repeated three times. At the same time, stroking the person or the animal with the hand. <sighs> and at the end of each application, strike the back of the person or the animal to wit at the first application once, at the second application twice. And at the third application, three times. And then set the worms at a certain time, but not less than three minutes. A good remedy against columnation or slander. Is that a sickness? Having someone talk shit about you? I just ignore it myself, but anyway. Um, if you are calumniated or slandered to your very skin, to your very flesh, to your very bones, cast it back upon the false tongue. And there's three crosses there. I think it's, they make three crosses on your hand, you know, on the crook of your thumb and forefinger. I read a few books on this a while back because it's silly. And I like silly shit sometimes. All right. Yeah. Take off your shirt and turn it wrong side out. And then run your two thumbs along your body, close under the ribs, starting at the pit of your heart down to your thighs. And man, people will stop talking shit about you after that, especially if they see you that way, with your shirt inside out, rubbing yourself in a weird way. It's ingenious. <sighs> A good remedy for colic. I warn ye, ye colic fiends. There is one sitting in judgment who speaketh just or unjust. Therefore beware, ye colic fiends. And there's like three crosses, so you got to do it in you know, three crosses there. All right, well, I think that's about all I can handle right now. I just wanted to share a little bit of this and... Yeah, I'll probably go through it and pick out some select parts. There's just quite a bit of silliness in this little book here. And don't try this at home, please. Uh, don't even try it. Peace. The fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having.